not meeting its obligation to prepare these students to be nurses, and it, it simply failed them. The state launches a formal investigation into Stone Academy. The school shut down its three campuses last week, leaving hundreds of students hanging. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live in the capital city with what is next. Aya. Hi, Aaron. And Stone Academy has been subpoenaed and a civil investigation is underway. The Attorney General's office has received more than 100 complaints from former students and staff since the closure. And the last few days have been filled with a lot of questions and uncertainty for students. I go to work sometimes and I can't stop crying. Susan Anthony is among the hundreds of former Stone Academy students wondering what comes next. She was in the school's licensed practical nursing program. I can't even put in words how upset I feel or for the rest of the students in, in the school in my cohort, everything. It's just, it's been all over the place. On February 15th, the for-profit nursing school announced that it would be closing its campuses in East Hartford, Waterbury, and West Haven. That came following serious concerns regarding license examination rates, faculty qualifications, and clinical training issues. This isn't just hard for the students. This is a tragedy for hundreds, if not thousands, of Connecticut students and families and their communities. Today, Attorney General William Tong subpoenaed Stone Academy. His office is demanding detailed information on tuition collected, faculty qualifications, and accreditation materials. We are going to get to the bottom of this. And if we find any violations of the law, civil or criminal, wrongdoers are going to face the most severe consequences, and we will make sure of that. It's estimated that about 900 students are impacted by the closure. The Office of Higher Education says it's processing students' files, which will then be turned over to an independent auditor for verification. The Office of Higher Ed and Department of Public Health are going to work tirelessly to make sure your records are put intact so you know exactly what you have for a transcript and provide some of those options, be it a refund, be it a teach-out, be it an alternative way to uh, continue forward. And next week, the Office of Higher Education is holding a fair for students where they can learn more about what types of steps come next. Meanwhile, Stone Academy is being required to respond to that subpoena by March 10th. Reporting live tonight in Hartford, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.